Well, Australia 108, once complete, will be the tallest residential building in the Southern Hemisphere. And that's amazing achievement for quite a small parcel of land in South Bank in Melbourne. The design of Australia 108 really started as a springboard from Carl Fender's narrative of Australia 108 being the queen to Eureka Tower's king. So the first inspiration really is about how do you build something right next door to what is already one of the iconic buildings of Melbourne without denigrating each other's presence but making the two of them more powerful than the one of them. Eureka is very angular. It's got sharp points in its plan. And to contrast that, Australia 108 became very curvy, especially at the top, and very soft. So we really took strength in that to define an interior narrative, and from it, take the curves of the building form to inform how we respond on the interiors. To have on your CV that you were involved in the leadership of building, you know, the highest residential tower in the Southern Hemisphere is pretty awesome. I mean, I. When I drive down William Street to see it in the distance, I think it's pretty cool myself. I think Australia 108 is unique. It's iconic. It's irreplaceable. The, the homes that are being created, I think, are quite beautiful. The starburst level and the other elements of the project that build the amenity in this wonderful location, I think, will stand the test of time. <laughs>